and style that she has to her head and front end, and she is the best utter in the class. She wears that because of her advantage over the rest of the class in height and width and fullness at the point of rear utter attachment. I love the teat placement on the cow. She uses that advantage and mammary system in rear udder today, along with her angularity and clean cutness to go over the big powerful cow that we have in second. You have to admire the frame of the second cow. She's wide and strong and powerful, and I do like that in my cows, but just not quite the, uh, the height and width at point of attachment today in that rear udder to go uh, to the top of the class. The second cow then over the third cow, she's just more full in her midsection today. She's got more drop to her rear rib and balance to her, to her mammary system today to go over the, the uh, dark colored cow that I have third. This uh, cow in third has an advantage in overall volume and symmetry to the mammary system today. Just more width and capacity to her mammary. Not to take anything away from this young cow that I have fourth. I really like the outline of this cow. She's extremely youthful. I told a young man that I'm excited to see her calve in another time and see how that mammary system develops. I think she could be a really special cow. She has an advantage in teat size, shape, and placement over the next cow in line. Uh, some great cows in this class, and congratulations to the winner. With those official placings, I'd like to share them with you if you're marking your catalog in the Melking Shorthorn Show. Entry 1509 was scratched. 1510 was fourth. 1511 scratched. 1512 was third in the class, Mapleton Valley Mudslinger Calice, shown by Mapleton Valley Farms, LLC, of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. 1513, scratched. 1514 was the winning entry in the class, Nor Star Sriracha, shown by Christopher Peterson and Sarah Rhodes, Greenville, Ohio. Entry 1515 and 1516, scratched. 1517 was second in the class, Lazy M. Pirelli Girl Crush, EXPET, shown by Lazy M Farm, LLC, Michael and Herman Meyer, Stitzer, Wisconsin. 1518 was seventh, 1519 was sixth, and entry 1520 was fifth. Now entering the ring are the junior two-year-olds. The first place award in this class is presented by the Hartford Livestock Department of Omaha, Nebraska. The best utter rosette is presented by Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin, and the junior award is presented in memory of Lillian and Keith King, by Kingsdale Farms, Victoria, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete on the jersey end of the ring. First in the open show, our production award winner goes to entry 1246, Woodmore Deer Fever, exhibited by Woodmore Jerseys of Bloomer, Wisconsin. And now, would our juniors please take a step forward? 
Second place junior goes to entry 1241, Nabolt's Tequila Sarah, exhibited by Reagan Demar of Piasta, Iowa. Third place in the class is also the winning junior. She's entry 1248, Meadow Ridge Jackknife Summer, exhibited by Michael Reby and Aaliyah and Emma Anderson of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Second place takes home best utter honors as well, and she's 1242. J.L. Vincent Sapphira, exhibited by River Valley Farm, Ben Andy Blessing and Grace Souter of Tremont, Illinois. And the winning entry also is the winning bread and own. She's 1236, RRF Comerica Daisy, exhibited by River Valley Farm in Rhino, Jerseys of Tremont, Illinois. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his comments. Well, we've got a nice pair of cows to come to the top here in the, in the age cow class. And uh, this first cow, what a beautiful frame cow. She's 100% my kind of frame. Hard top, feminine from end to end, but has a great deal of width, mass, and substance all the way throughout. She has advantage over the second cow. She's longer, leaner in her head and neck. She's more crisp, more sharp above her chine. She's a cow when she's on the move. Carries herself much harder across her top from her chine, through her loin back to her grow bone to go over this cow in second. Second cow. I did make her the best udder cow, and it is her udder. The squareness, the symmetry she has all the way through that mammary, the definition to the seam that gets her around the cow here in third. Third over fourth, just a cleaner made individual for me. Cow that when you get on her shows much more angularity, silkiness through the hide. It's a little uh, cleaner, a little neater all the way back through her rump today to take her over the cow here in fourth. Fourth place cow, love a lot of things about her. Just lacks the overall cleanliness today to get up over the cows in front of her. But it is her stretch to the frame she has, the way she's a little more balanced in those rear quarters, a little more symmetrical all the way through that mammary that gets her over this fifth cow. Fifth over six, we made the switch when you get them in line. Uh, this cow, you just uh, admire the size and shape to her teeth. And it is for those reasons, the way she blends into the four udder, the way that four udder ties in the body wall, that gets her over the six cow.